How's it going, small fries? Missed the best hero of them all, did you? Me and Mira had been busy looking for King Atlan's long-lost trident. Turns out it would give its holder mastery over the seas, which would be kind of useful when going up against my little bro. After a bunch of searching, running, climbing, falling, jumping, and some flying, whew, we finally got a clue to where it was hidden. I was glad to get back to swimming. <laughs> no, not that kind of swimming. Yeah, that's better. And faster. Very important when you're trying to get away from so many teeth and so many claws. But we got rid of them. Piece of fish cake. And finally, in the depths of the hidden sea, we found Atlan's trident. Yeah! <laughs> After that, I just had to unite the Seven Kingdoms and convince them that I could be their king. But Orm wasn't gonna make it easy, and the biggest water fight ever was about to start. Permission to come aboard? Ah! It turned out uniting the Seven was easier said than done, especially with Orm on our case. Freeing those fishermen would be a good place to start. What's going on everybody? It's Come Unbox Some Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO DC Super Villains video. So in today's video we're of course going to be playing through the brand new Aquaman level DLC. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so I've been really looking forward to this DLC. Obviously the first one was great, but this is the one that I think we've all been waiting for because we actually get to play as Arthur in the suit from the movie. And if you've seen the movie, then you'll know that when he actually gets that suit, it is just such a cool moment in the film. So so flippin' cool. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. It was it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's uh, let's actually get on with this mission now. So let's see here, what are we gonna do? Right. We'll head on over here first. Do people need help? Oh yeah, this guy needs help here, this uh, Atlantean. If you need help, press Johnny DC. Yeah, we know that. But we've got Mera here, so what we can do is tap circle. There we go. Oh, nice. She has a water rope. That's pretty cool. There we go. Start building. Come on, Arthur. Nice. I imagine he's strong enough to lift it. Yes, he is. Sweet. And throw it. Awesome. It looked like we made ourselves some new friends. I hope that hair gets added to the character customizer because I think it would be really useful. Send some of his buddies after us. Aquaman's hair, I mean, like that—that that would be really useful, especially if you can change the dark brown and and you know the colors individually. This mission looks amazing already. Like the outside where Orm is there, that looks so cool. This looks great. Oh, here we go. We're fighting some trench creatures now. They don't look like how I was expecting, but that's fine. Oh, look at that! You can you can still swim. Obviously, we're underwater at the moment, so that's cool. So it's not uh, an actual jump like uh, in every other mission. Because we're in Atlantis, you swim when you jump, so that's cool. Nice little detail there, which makes a lot of sense, obviously. I'm trying to get up here. There we go. Right. I don't think we can do that. I think we need a uh, bad character to, to graffiti all over uh, that picture of Mera there. So we'll just leave that. But we'll take care of these trench creatures. Take that! Nice! Threw him right into that thing. That was cool. So have Aquaman's attacks changed with this suit, or are they the same? They seem to be more or less the same, I think. I'm not quite sure. It's been a while since I uh, played that DLC, obviously. I played it when it came out. So, yeah. But no, this is cool. This is very cool. It's different because I was kind of expecting these DLCs. What I thought the first mission would be is essentially this. You'd be playing as Aquaman and Mera, and it would be a mission inspired by the film. But it turns out it was fairly accurate to what actually happens in the film. It was it was pretty well done. So TT Games must have got a lot of input from Warner Brothers and things like that, which is awesome. Um, because it was very accurate to the film. And then I thought this DLC would have been about the villains where we would uh, get to play then, as Orm and Black Orm Manta taking on Mera. No, uh, yeah, Orm and Black Manta taking on Mera and Aquaman. To find a way to that's what I was expecting, but fast. nope, that's not what we got, and this is still really cool. So we took care of the trench creatures. Does that mean we're going to be fighting the Brian King and things like that next as well, or are they helping us? 
I think they were helping Arthur in the movie, if I remember correctly. As well as a bunch of other uh, characters. Okay, I don't think there's anything more to do in here. There's some cool minifigures around here. I don't think they're playable, though. But uh, still cool to see them. I don't think we really saw what they could do. So I don't think it really matters if they're playable, to be honest. I think the characters they picked are great because they really shine in the film. Definitely. Okay, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just leave this area now. The only thing really left here to do would be to collect studs, but I can always come back later and do that myself. Ooh. Okay, cool. I'm sensing that this mission might be a bit longer than the previous one. Which I hope, because one of the things with DLCs in uh, LEGO games is always the missions are short. Which is fair enough, I mean, that's what you're getting. You're getting a short little experience. But since Aquaman has gotten two DLCs, I'm kind of hoping that it's a little bit longer. So, hopefully I'm right. It'll be interesting to see why they decided to release this... Um, after the movie came out. I'm thinking it's because of spoilers because as Arthur was saying in the cutscene at the beginning with the brilliant art, you know, um, he was basically saying there's going to be a huge water fight. So if we're actually going to be fighting Orm, you know, just like the end of the movie, then I can understand why they'd release it later because, you know, spoilers. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend watching uh, this video or playing this level if you haven't actually seen Aquaman yet. Um, and if you haven't seen it and you are watching this video somehow, I highly recommend you go see it because it is amazing. Might be one of my favorite films of last year, to be honest. Yeah, I think it is. Whoa. That's for Green Latin, is it? Oh no, it's for Mera. Can, can Aquaman do it as well, though? Oh, he can't. It has to be for Mera. Mera was awesome in the film though, really, really cool. Honestly, the thing that, that went into my mind as soon as I finished watching Aquaman in the cinema was, I want another one. They, straight away I was like, I need, I need another Aquaman, that movie was so good. So yeah, I cannot wait until they can do another one. Should be good. I think a lot of people would say that the DC Extended Universe had a very rough start. Um, but I think now it's starting to really pick up pace and do something really special. I think they've got some really cool movies in the works, like Aquaman was brilliant, and Shazam looks amazing, and I think we're going to be getting a new trailer for that very soon. So, yeah, I think DC is in a great uh, place at the moment. I just can't wait to see the future of this franchise. Right, where, what are we doing here? Let's see, do I need to do this first? Is that heating up? I can't tell if that's heating. I don't think it is, is it? What about this? No. Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. Oh! Come on. How could I miss that? It's right in front of me. Oh, well, at least I got it this time. Hey, there we go. Nice. One of the things that I would say is most impressive... Vera managed to convince her dad to join with us. Oh, yeah. I think that was the last straw for all. He was in the first pack. Um, yeah, one of the things Orm that I found most impressive... Little oh, that's cool! Oh, this is cool! Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll uh, resume what I was saying in a second, but this is awesome. Oh, nice! A little mini cutscene. This is cool! Oh, there you go. Yep. Wow. Okay, that is very accurate to what happened in the film. This looks really cool. I'm impressed. Yeah, Warner Brothers must have really given them so much information about what happens in this film. Because this is exactly what happens at the end of the film. Exactly. Um, so if you want an Aquaman... Uh, video game? Play LEGO DC Supervillains because you're going to get to play through the two coolest scenes in the film. Well, it would have been nice to get to play through the scene where Black Manta attacks as well. Um, I can't remember where the Mera and Aquaman were in the film, but that scene was awesome. That would have been a cool DLC, but what we got is great. Definitely. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so one of my favourite things about this film, aside from the music and the really impressive CGI, I thought, um, 
one of the things that I found most impressive was probably the costumes because I never thought like don't get me wrong I've always thought like new 52 Aquaman looked really cool and ever since Aquaman was uh, announced to be in Justice League and getting his own movie and everything I thought oh yeah I can't wait to, for people to be proven wrong by this character because he's been a laughing stock for years and who better than Jason Momoa to prove people wrong uh, and he did he absolutely did so I never thought that costume the Aquaman costume would work on the big screen and man does it I mean they knocked out of the park with that same goes for Orm even Black Manta I thought oh they're not gonna be able to make that helmet work on the big screen because it's too big they totally made it work he looked amazing and I cannot wait to see him again so yeah the costumes in this film were incredible seems that Orm I wouldn't be surprised if they won an award for best costumes gonna make this easy. really impressive Really, really impressive. Right, let's take care of these guys. Boom, nice. Great thing about new DLCs with this game is the fact that we get new pieces in the customizer, so that's nice. Look, we got some trench creatures there. We've got some mermen, Atlanteans. Take that. Nice. Come on, Orm. Fight me like a man. Come on. Or a fish man. <laughs> uh oh. Miss me. Take that, and that, and that, and some of this. Oh. Wait, why am I taking a selfie? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> he was taking a selfie in the middle of battle. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Should. Oh. Orm tried calling for more help, but it looked like his plans were about to be all washed they up. They don't want to help him. Oh, man. Orm looks so cool. The, the minifigure design on him is incredible. I cannot wait to play as him. I doubt that's the last we've seen of Orm as well. If you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. So, be interested to see where they take him next. I like how he wasn't exactly a villain, really. I think that's one of the cool things about villains in comic book movies lately is that they, they try to make you kind of feel for them and not necessarily say that they're all bad. You know, and they have their reasons and everything. I always love it when they do that because it adds more layers to a character. It just makes them more compelling and interesting to watch. Come on. Is he going to stop spinning? Oh, here we go. Yes. You're going down, Orm. Come on. We got this. Ah, there you go. He took a selfie in in the end. Yeah, that's cool. Just like that, the time Oh, that is nice. Look at that! I got everyone there. And I took my place. We got Volko over there. He's included in this DLC, so that's cool. All right. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was good. I think that was better than the first one, to be honest. I mean, I really enjoyed the first one because. It was so cool to get to play through the gladiator fight from the movie, but this one I thought was really good because we got to play as Aquaman in the actual suit fighting Orm, and it was exactly like the end of the film. I mean, the previous DLC was exactly like the film, but still, I think this one, they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. But like I said, the, the previous one was still good. What I'm excited about now is, though, is the fact that both of the Aquaman movie level packs have been great and the levels were very movie accurate. So since we've got Shazam coming up next and then we'll have the second Shazam pack, those are bound to be extremely movie accurate as well. So I would imagine that we'll get all the characters from the films, you know, that they could uh, cram into that DLC. Plus the levels would be scenes from the actual film, which I think is amazing because what they'll probably do is the same thing they did with this one where you'll go see Shazam, you'll enjoy it, and then you'll get to go home and, you know, download the DLC, and you'll play through maybe somewhere near the beginning, and then a few, maybe a month later or something like that, we'll get to play through the final battle or something. So that's really cool. So I think what they're doing with these DLCs is awesome, and I kind of hope we see more of this in the future of LEGO games, not just DC. If they do, you know, another LEGO Marvel game down the road, it'd be great if they could actually get uh, inside information on the films and we actually get to play through final battles and stuff like that, because how accurate these are to the films is really impressive so i do hope we see a lot more of that in the future of lego games anyway that's enough of me rabbiting on thank you all so very much for watching stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and please remember to like comment and subscribe <laughs>